Back home, the new chairman of the Federal Inland Revenue Service, Mr. Babatunde Fowler, has resumed office with a promise to stop tax evasion and improve revenue generation. Mr. Fowler, whose appointment is subject to confirmation by the Senate, is, uh, has said uh, no country can succeed without taxation. Mr. Fowler promised to meet with chairman of state revenue services across the country to chart a new course for revenue collection. Mr. Fowler is a former chairman of the Lagos State Revenue Collection Agency. He was appointed by President Muhammad Buhari last week as acting chairman of the Federal Inland Revenue Service. That it's also doable here. We will make sure that we cover all grounds especially on the corporate level. All taxpayers within each state will be covered. So those who have found Nigeria fertile ground, those who have made a living and made profits from the businesses within Nigeria, we ask them to do the right thing. We all know the right thing to do, but most of these companies have the big names as the auditors, but yet, they still keep different records. One set of records for the banks, one set of records for shareholders, and one set of records for the tax administrators. I think it's time that that be stopped. I'm going to also request that the multinational organizations should follow our laws. Abroad, they do not do things that will contravene their tax laws. I'll ask them that they please partner with us and follow the laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, especially when it comes to tax payments. The era of waiting on oil revenue is over. The federal government, in deciding of making this change, believes that we can find our rightful place by making sure that we fund government. In funding government, we're serving the people, in serving the people, we're serving Nigeria. In serving Nigeria, I believe we're serving God. I'm aware of the cases that are currently being investigated in England because the Lagos State Board of Internal Revenue was called to give an act as witness because some foreign companies avoided or evaded taxes within Nigeria.